Hello and good evening from Ireland. I am Ali O'Shea. So I'm just going to wait for some people to come in the room before we get started. And today I'm going to talk about some powerful ways to stop absorbing other people's negative energy. I am also going to do a live guided money tree meditation at the end, which will help to bring abundance into your life. Hello, Colleen. Hello, Stacy. Hi, Paul. Welcome, everyone. How is everybody doing on this Sunday? Hello, Laurie. You got the time right. Hello, Marissa. Hi, John. Welcome to you all. I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes for some people to come in the room. So let me know how you're doing on this Sunday. Let me know how your day has been. Where you're joining me from. Hi, Judy. Hi, Laurie. Hello, Colleen. So today I am going to talk about powerful ways to stop absorbing other people's negative energy. And I will also do my live guided money tree abundance meditation at the end. Hello, John. How are you? Welcome. Hello, Sandra. Great Sunday. Hello, Steve. Steve's joining from South BBC Yorkshire. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for joining. So I hope you're all having a great weekend. I want to start off by showing you some wonderful books. A friend of mine called Susan Downing. She lives in the States and she's an author. And she's written some books um, on the law of attraction for children. So this is the bag that the books came in. Bradykin's Secret, Finding Joy in the Journey. So the website is www.bradykin.com. And um, so I'll just show you, because she brought these as a gift when she visited me in Ireland over the summer. So I'll just give you a quick look at them. They're really um, lovely books for children. Hello, Marilyn. Hello, Stacy. Hello, Breed. Thank you, Judy. Hello, Dean. Um, so they're beautifully illustrated by um, a guy called Chris Young. And as you can see, the author there is Susan Downing. And um, they're just really beautiful books. Um, for children on the law of attraction written by Susan Downing and illustrated by Chris Young. Happiness year round with Bradykin. Um, there's just, you know, there's lovely illustrations in it and lovely, lovely simplicity for children. And there's another one. So I just wanted to show those uh, for her to you all. Um, because they're beautiful books, beautifully uh, written and illustrated, lovely and simple for very young children to understand and to be introduced to the law of attraction in a way that is not intimidating in any way, shape or form. So they are beautiful books by my friend Susan Downing. Hi, Joelle. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Tani. Stacy is watching from Montana. Hello. Hi, Tani. Hi, Alika. Hi, Crispy. So these are books for young children on the law of attraction, introducing them to the law of attraction by my friend Susan Downing. Thank you for sharing, Laurie. Yeah, if you could all share while I'm live, that would be fantastic. So those are the books there by my friend Susan Downing. And um, again, the website is www.bradykin.com. Hello, Denise. Welcome. So, as I said today, I'm going to talk about how some powerful ways to stop absorbing other people's negative energy. We're all, we all encounter it from time to time. Uh, you know, a lot of us are empaths and we pick up on the vibrations, the energy of other people. You know, if you walk into a room and you can feel the vibes, you know, if you go to a funeral, the vibes will be one of heaviness and sadness and grief. 
and you can feel the vibrations of people. If you go to a shopping center or a shopping mall, as you call it there in the States, you can absorb energy from all of those around you. So much so that you will feel exhausted when you go home. Hello, Don. Hello, Ralph. Welcome. So, um, you know, we all can can feel these things, but some of us more than others. And we can absorb other people's negative energy as well as their positive energy. But we don't really want to be absorbing their negative energy. We want to let that stuff go. Hello, Jojo. Hello, Laurie. Welcome. So it's all very well and good to be, as a human, to be sympathetic towards others. However, there is a difference with empaths who take on others' problems or issues and burdens as if they were their own. This can be highly toxic as it can lead you to absorb the energy of those people and their issues. And this can affect you not only mentally, but physically and spiritually as well. Of course, it's good to be sympathetic and to lend emotional support to your friends and family whom you love. But you also have to learn to protect yourself from people who will take advantage of your kindness. Hello, Anthony, welcome. Here then are some very powerful ways to stop absorbing negative energy. Stop trying to please other people. People pleasing. Hello, Jodie Lee, welcome. I've written a blog about this very subject. It's called Authentic You, and you can find it on my website, www.expansivesouls.com. Hello, Natasha, how are you? Welcome. Um, I'm just going to put my website up there, but I'm going to read you a little excerpt from that blog. So it's called Authentic You. Hello, Angela, and hello to anyone I haven't said hello to, it's just that I haven't seen you. Hello, Rhonda Little, welcome. Hello, Savvy. Do you always ask, so this is an excerpt from one of my blogs called Authentic You. So when you're trying to stop absorbing other people's negative energy this is one of the first things that you should do is stop trying to please other people all the time people pleasing hello jeanette hello roy so this is an excerpt from one of my blogs hello allison do you always ask for what you actually want or do you beat around the bush because you're afraid that you will hurt someone else's feelings do you say yes to people even when you want to say no because you feel they have something they want you to do or they won't be happy with you. What happens in these cases is that you end up hurting yourself because you are not being your authentic version of you. Hello, Steve, welcome. You should always be true to yourself. Authenticity in reality is the most authentic natural expression of what you think, believe, and love. If you believe in something, it should be shown in your actions. If in your action, habit, or thought pattern feels uncomfortable or unnatural, it probably isn't true to your authentic self. Being your true self or authentic you is an important part of your spiritual journey and should be a daily practice. What would it feel like to radiate meaning and positivity from your very being? How would you be? How would you be around others? What would you do differently? At the core of these answers lies your value and true nature. How do you act around others? Picture yourself around people in different situations, such as parties, family gatherings, and work. Are you being true to the things that you actually want to say and how you really feel 
about the situations. How do you normally behave? Do you put up a barrier because maybe you don't feel confident to let others see the real you? It is so important for your health and well-being to always speak your truth. If you don't speak your truth, it can eventually lead to your energy centers being blocked and resulting in sickness. You are a unique and marvelous being. There is only one of you in this universe and it is your chance to shine and to show everyone who you are. So that was an excerpt taken from my blog, Authentic You, and you can read the rest of it at www.expansivesouls.com. Hello, Stephanie. Hi, Roy. Hello, Tony Doyle. Hello, Nanette. Welcome to you all. So one of the most powerful ways to stop absorbing other people's negative energy is stop trying to people please. There's no necessity for it. What are you looking to gain from people pleasing anyway? The only person that you need to be happy with, that you need to be okay with is you. Because happiness comes from you at the end of the day. It doesn't come from anyone else. Happiness is something that we choose each morning when we wake up. We can either choose to be happy or we can choose to be depressed or sad or in a bad mood. It's your choice at the end of the day. So if you're focused on things that are feeling off, change your focus. Hello, Victoria. So stop trying to people please. Hello, Kerry, welcome. Number two. Keep energy vampires away from you. I'm pretty sure we've all encountered energy vampires, but there are a couple of different types of energy vampires. There are people who are energy vampires for a certain period of time. Perhaps they're going through something really difficult and it's not normally how they would usually be. And they're venting at you about their problem or their issue. There's also people who do it all the time. They're taking your energy. They're really feeding off your energy. And when you walk away from those types of people, you feel absolutely exhausted. So just bear that in mind. There are two different types. Ones who are short-term energy vampires, and they're not as bad. Um, you know, it's the ones who are consistently energy vampires all of the time. Hello, Maria. Natasha says, I always people please, but I'm giving it up slowly and putting myself first. It feels weird, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, if you want to say no to somebody, you shouldn't feel bad. If it's something that you don't want to do, you don't want to do it. And if you're doing it, you're doing it out of um, feeling that you have to. Usually it doesn't feel good while you're doing it. It doesn't feel good before you do it. It doesn't feel good when you agree to do it. And, you know, we don't have to explain ourselves to anyone ever. It's our life. It's our choice. We're here to co-create, yes, for sure. But if it doesn't please you, unless you're doing it to help somebody out, sort of in a random act of kindness way or something like that, you certainly shouldn't have to do it. Victoria says, how can possible what, Parvez? Thank you, John. So he's always pleased to see me. Um, Jojo says, always do proper drain me. Victoria says, how do you deal with family? Well, the thing is, the more that you raise your vibration as well, the more those types of people should fall away from you. So if you keep your vibration raised high, you keep yourself in alignment with source, your inner being, God, self, the universe, those people should start to fall away from you. Or if they're family and they live with you, you won't sort of uh, amalgamate or, or run into each other at those times when they're going to be like that. 
Jody Lee says she needed this today. Uh, Dean says, people pleasing is a flaw of mine as well. So it's time to let go of those things that no longer serve you. These things don't serve you. If you're feeling it, they're not serving you. And we need to let go and release all of those things that no longer serve us. Um, Colleen says, yes, I had to let a friendship of 20 years go. So toxic and energy draining. Yeah, it happens a lot. Hello, Michelle from Boulder in Colorado. Welcome to you. So keeping energy vampires away from you. Do you have someone in your life who after you've spent some time with, you feel completely drained? You almost feel like they have sucked the life out of you. These kind of people seem to have time to see you and hang out when they need support, but never seem to be around when you need them for support. They complain all the time, and the more they complain, the more things they find to complain about. It is not your responsibility to fix their problems, not even if it is a family member. Don't carry that burden. Don't sit around and gossip either. It is not a nice trait. Giving in to someone's drama won't help them, and it won't help you. All it does is feed the situation, adding more to it. Actually, I spoke about this yesterday in my private group, Ali O's Vibe Tribe, where I go live once a week exclusively like this, teaching the law of attraction. And we spoke about venting and why it is not good for you, unless you're tapping, emotional freedom technique. But venting is not good for you because venting is affirming something you don't want. And affirmations are extremely powerful, as you know. So venting is never good for you. And that is what these energy vampires do as well. They're venting. And when they're venting, they're bringing you into their lower vibration and dragging you down with their energy. And so that is why you feel so drained when you walk away from the situation or even during the situation. You might feel yourself having the energy sucked out of you. Hello, Tammy. Welcome. Hello, Steph. Um... Jojo says, I meant energy vampires always come across them. They drain me. I used to people please too, but I'm stronger now. Good. Colleen says, Ali's four module workshops have helped me. Thank you, um, Colleen. And you can do my workshops at www.expansivesouls.com. Hello, Colondo. Well, says, don't affirm that, Victoria. Just stick to the positive in them and don't allow yourself to get pulled into negative conversations. Exactly. Victoria said, thanks always. What did she say? Helping. I'm always end helping, but I end up getting hurt. Yeah, so if you feel that, just start to decide, make a decision that you know, if you, it doesn't feel good for you to do something, that you're not going to do it. Um, depending on the person, I mean, you'll know. Go with your gut feeling. Tani says, needed this today. My brother is draining me. I pray he will get in recovery from his addiction, daily drama. Oh, make sure that you meditate, Tani. I mean, for everybody on here, meditation is really important. It's what connects you to your inner being and your soul and your source, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it. and it puts you in alignment it puts you in that higher vibratory field of love and light and connection and it's so important to just be colleen says ali's four module workshops have helped to raise my energy field best money ever invested in myself thank you colleen appreciate that i'm so glad they helped you so much Hello, Barbara McKay. John says, alignment trumps everything. Just do the things that make you happy always. 
I only answer to myself, gratitude and love rules me. And that's a wonderful John Bruff there, who is a friend of mine, who has been through his own cancer journey and is in recovery. And we have set up a group together called Global Random Acts of Kindness, where we accept all beautiful, positive, loving souls. And it's a place where people can go and uplift each other in love and tell stories of kindness and post kindness posts. And it's a beautiful family. So if you'd like to join that, please do feel free. I also have another group called Law of Attraction, Create Your Own Reality on Facebook so if you request to join that I can also add you there Judy says and the lifetime friendship because of this very reason but I miss her Again, Abraham says we shouldn't miss people because what that means is you're out of alignment with who you really are so once you're in alignment with who you really are everything will come to you everything Tani says, my family is getting ripped apart. It's heartbreaking. I'm sorry to hear that, Tani. Um, maybe try and get your brother into meditation. Um, that might help him with his addictions. Um, Trying to think. I do know somebody who's an addiction counsellor. Who was it? I'll have a think about that one. Or maybe even tapping could help with Colette Leosi. She's tapping girl. And Laurie says, my mom is in Alzheimer's care. Often I feel a vacuum sucking my energy when visiting, even after I shield any further suggestions. That's a tough one, Laurie. Definitely with the shield. So for those of you who don't know how to shield yourself energy wise, you could picture yourself in a white bubble of light protecting your whole body. So make sure that it goes all the way over your head, all the way down your body and make sure it goes under your feet and then zip it up like a sleeping bag at the front, all the way up to the top of your head and visualize that. Another thing that you can do is you can put mirrors all around you um, to help to reflect the energy that's supposed to be really good as well um laurie expectation is also a powerful thing so again reaffirming um that every time you go there isn't good either so start to visualize yourself having a happy visit with your mother um and visualize before you go a happy scene visualize you feeling okay um while you're there visualize yourself being good when you come out of it start to use visualization um as a tool to to help you as well as using your protection and meditate before you go if possible tammy says do you believe in people truly recovering from drug addiction i i have friends who've recovered from drug addiction so i believe it's possible i believe that anything is possible and i believe that hope is everything and that you know it's much higher up on the scale than fear so start to practice hope and expectation that he will get better as well natasha says she loves the mirrors don says love yourself before all else your i am has been amazing for me thank you don so don is referring to my i am meditation which is also up on my youtube channel my youtube channel is uh let me see if i can put the link in here there that's my youtube channel it's free to subscribe there's lots of law of attraction videos up there and there is also meditations and affirmations uh, which are really particularly useful so like i said number three i've already said this but set boundaries and learn that saying no is okay hello israel do you have boundaries if not you should you should also feel okay about saying no when your boundaries have been crossed don't let people walk all over you if you don't want to do something don't feel bad about saying no you also do not need to justify yourself or give reasons why if you don't want to respect yourself stand up for yourself and then others will respect you too judy says i know i had to end that friendship she was an energy vampire but why does 
And that put me out of alignment because I was, I miss a lifetime friendship. She's gone now and I feel better without her sucking the life out of me, but I still miss her. I suppose we get attached to people would be the answer there. We do get attached to people easily. Uh, some of us more than others, I get attached to people really easily. And so um, it's one of those things. It's just one of those things. So we were talking about self-love there a moment ago. I do have self-love affirmations up on my YouTube channel. And for those of you who don't know, it takes between a minimum of 21 to 30 days to reprogram your subconscious mind. And uh, so the best thing to do when you're doing any kind of affirmations or reprogramming of your subconscious mind is to do them for 30 days minimum. In some cases, it may take longer. It depends how deeply rooted your beliefs are. But don't forget that your beliefs are just a thought that you keep thinking, as Abraham Hicks says, and your thoughts can be changed. Paul says we get so used to feeding the vampires, and when they are no longer around you, you can sort of miss it. Number four, in that ways, powerful ways to stop absorbing other people's negative energy is make time for you. Again, this comes back to self-worth and self-worthiness and self-love. Tuning into your own desires and thoughts is so important. Listening to your soul and finding yourself is important, especially when you are on a spiritual journey. Do all the things that you love. Thank you, Don. See you later. Thanks for tuning in. Do all the things that you love, along with meditation, that raise your vibration and make your heart and your soul sing. So make sure that you will take time to tune in, to meditate, to raise your vibration, doing the things that you love, getting yourself out into nature, listening to music. Maybe it's cooking for you, having an Epsom salts bath, um, listening to affirmations, listening to other spiritual teachers, taking workshops and growing and expanding your soul. Whatever it might be, playing with your dogs or your children or going for a walk with your partner, whatever it might be that puts you in that high vibratory stance while making time for yourself to enjoy these things could be reading a book for everybody. It's different. Make time for you. Jojo says, I listen to your affirmations every day. I do struggle with self-love as others always put me down. There's a video up there on self-love as well, Jojo, um, on my YouTube channel. So just have a look for that and that should help you. Hi, Trina, how are you? And so the last one on the list for today is, of course, there are other ones, but I've just chosen a few to bring you here today. And when I finish this, I will do my live uh, money tree abundance meditation live for you choose to be responsible for your own happiness i mean we're all responsible for our own happiness john says i think also we all make mistakes but it's important not to beat yourself up i always start my day saying thank you i open my curtains and say thank you. so many wonderful things to appreciate Absolutely, John. So important to wake up in the morning, give gratitude and appreciation for the fact, the very fact that we're alive um, without any of the other things even around us. You are the only one who can make you happy. Happiness comes from you and you alone. Let everyone else off the hook. You have the choice. We all have choices in every situation. So use your own personal power to stay strong in any given situation and learn to stay happy no matter what. Choose to breathe instead of react or walk away from an intense situation so that you are not giving it your attention. Take responsibility for your emotions and when you do, 
you will release yourself from the influence of others. Learn to feel confident. Work on yourself. You will gain emotional strength and endurance. So we all have choices in life. We can choose to react or we can choose to breathe through the situation or to walk away. And everything is about how we react or not react to situations in life. We all have these choices in every situation. Thank you, Paul. Paul has just posted my self-love video there in the thread. So you can see that there, Jojo. Hello, Pat. Hello, Linda. Welcome. Hello, Trina. So those are um, some powerful ways to stop absorbing other people's negative energy. Just to recap, number one was to stop trying to pe people, please. Number two, keep energy vampires away from you. Number three, set boundaries and learn that saying no is okay. Number four, make some time for you. And number five, choose to be responsible for your own happiness. Yep, yeah, pulls off the hook. So nobody else can make you happy. Of course, they contribute to your vibration as such by helping to uplift your spirits and making you feel good. But you're the one who makes you happy. You're the one who decides, who chooses to be happy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my money tree meditation live. So I'd like you to find yourself in a relaxed position. Whether you want to sit or lie down, it's up to you. But this will help to bring abundance into your life. And it's also on my YouTube channel. So it will help to um, change your money mindset. And it shifts your, your prosperity consciousness. So this meditation will help to make you feel more abundant and attract more money into your life. You will see how you can feel abundant at any time in your life. Start to relax your body by taking deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in for a count of three. Hold it for a count of four and breathe out to the count of five. Repeat this a few times. So breathing in deeply through your nose, holding it and releasing it. Letting your tummy rise and fall. Feeling your shoulders relaxing. If any thought or tension appears from your day, just acknowledge it and then let it drift away. This is a chance for you to let go of your day, to let go of any worries that you may have had and to sink into a deep, deep relaxation. Rest your mind and allow it to settle into a tranquil stillness. As you inhale and exhale deeply, feel the tension leaving your body. If you feel pain in any area, just breathe diff deeply into that place. As you allow yourself to relax, allow your mind now to transport you to a beautiful forest. 
This forest is full of nature's universal beauty, filled with magnificent trees and flowers. It is full of autumnal colors. The floor of the forest is covered in magnificent orange, red, and brown colored leaves. The leaves rustle as you walk through the forest floor. Take a deep breath in now and savor the earthy smell of the forest. As you walk through the forest, you can hear the birds singing above you and there are butterflies flying through the air. You can hear water running and as you look around, you see a river up ahead of you. You realize you are safe here. And as you allow yourself to relax, you can feel the tension flowing out of your body, just like the water is flowing through the river. You continue to walk through this magnificent forest, marveling at the universe's abundant beauty and the wonderment of nature. As you come closer to the river, you see a tree that looks different to the others. As you approach this tree, you notice that there is a door carved into it. Open the door and go inside. As you look around, you see a spiral staircase. Take the steps and begin to descend. The stairs has a beautiful oak railing and each step is made out of beautifully carved wood from the forest above. As you approach the last step, you can see magical fairy lights lighting up the way through a short tunnel that slopes downwards into the earth. It is still and warm here. Although you don't yet know where the tunnel will take you, you know that you are safe. It feels familiar to you here, almost like you have been here before. The tunnel takes you to a large room. The room is lit with beautiful orange lanterns that flicker warmly. It feels cozy in here. Inside the room, there is a huge table with one large chair at the head of it. Slowly make your way over to the chair. And when you get there, you notice that there is a beautifully carved wooden box on the ground beside the chair. Sit down upon the chair and you pick up the box. It is a wooden hand carved box with a butterfly carved into the lid. It is quite stunning to look at. The detail of the butterfly, so precise and beautifully carved into the wood. You become curious as to what is inside. So you gently open the box and look inside. There you find a packet with a single seed and specific instructions of what to do with the seed. 
The instructions say that it is a magical seed from ancient times and that you should return to the forest and plant the seed. Filled with excitement and anticipation, you arise from the chair and taking the packet, you make your way back through the tunnel and up the spiral staircase. As you emerge from the door of the tree, you look around for the perfect spot to plant the seed. And you finally see a clearing in the forest that seems perfect. You make your way over to the clearing. And when you get there, you see that there is already a small hole that has been mysteriously dug just waiting for the seed. So you plant the seed. To your amazement, the ground suddenly starts to shake and a magnificent tree appears. But instead of hundreds of leaves growing on this tree, there is money growing out of the branches of this magnificent tree. You can hardly believe your eyes. The universe has provided you with a magical money tree. It is so abundant, just like the forest. The crisp money notes are blowing in the gentle wind and appear to be calling you to pick them. So you reach up to one of the branches and you take one of the notes and suddenly you realize this is real money. Each time you take a note from a branch, another note grows back in its place. As you pick more and more crisp notes, you realize the abundance that surrounds you. You become excited, and so you start to collect the notes, putting them in your pockets and the bag that you brought with you for your forest walk. Your imagination starts to expand and go wild as you start to think what you can do with all of this money. You start to think of all of the things that you would like to do with this money and as you are collecting these beautiful crisp notes, you let your mind go to fun places. Maybe you'd like to go on an amazing dream vacation or you start to think of all the wonderful things that you can buy. Maybe you've been dreaming of a new car or a beautiful home, or perhaps you'd like to buy some gifts for loved ones. Perhaps you can pay off your debts or your loans, or maybe you'd like to help others with this money. There is such an abundance of money all around you. This tree is providing you with so much abundance. There are so many fun ways that you can spend this limitless abundance. And you realize that there are no limits as to what you can do with this money. The possibilities are infinite. There is such a feeling of freedom. You knew that the universe was always looking out for you. And as you finish filling your bag with the notes, you let out a sigh of relief as you realize just how abundant you feel and how blessed you truly are. There is no limit to the abundance, prosperity and freedom and fun that you can have.
And so, as you get ready to leave the forest, you realize that you can return to this beautiful, abundant forest at any time. You look up and you notice that the sky is a beautiful, radiant blue color with not a cloud in sight. It has been such a magical time. Peaceful and abundant. Now I'd like you to transport yourself back to your physical body. Knowing that you can take this vision with you anywhere you go. And that you are abundantly blessed. Take a deep breath in. And release it fully. Stretch your arms and your legs. And slowly open your eyes. Knowing that all is well. And that the universe always has your back. Hi Art, hi Agatha, hi Soen. You're just joining there at the end, so you might want to go back and watch the replay. John, if you're still here, thanks a million for joining and we'll see you soon. So I hope you enjoyed that meditation. Hope you enjoyed the live itself. Let me know if you enjoyed the meditation. If you enjoyed that meditation, it is actually up on my YouTube channel. Um, along with many other things. So once more, I'm going to put my YouTube channel up here, which is free to subscribe to. And I do go live over there as well. There's lots of affirmations, meditations, and uh, lives that I've done on my YouTube channel. And my website for my workshops is www.expansivesouls.com. I also coach people one-on-one, -on -one, if you didn't know that. Um, I coach using the law of attraction and I help people through the struggles and strains in their life using the law of attraction. So uh, if you wanted to book a session with me, you just PM me and we can organize it. Thank you, Tani. Thank you, Jody. You're welcome, Jojo. Thank you, Joelle. Thank you, Colleen. Thank you, Judy. April said the meditation was great. I joined just before you started it. I have to go back and watch the first half. Thank you, April. Thank you, Steve. Art says I will go back. I fell asleep. <laughs> Must be after your long journey, Art. Meet, meet, meet. Laurie said how lovely. Thoroughly enjoyed the meditation. Feeling grateful. Thank you, Laurie. Hello, Jazan. I'm just about to finish up, so please do go back and watch the replay. And guys, if you could share this video, that would be fantastic, either on your own page or on um, any Law of Attraction or Abraham pages. Thank you, Laurie. So I hope you're all looking forward to Monday. Monday is a new day. Debbie says, well worth the one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you, Ali. Thank you, Debbie. Hope you're doing well. I do one-on-ones, and if anyone needs a follow-up after their one-on-one -on -one session that they've already had with me, um, we can do that as well. Um, I do follow-ups as well. People want me to. Paul has just put the link up for the Money Tree uh, meditation. Thank you, Paul. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, go to my YouTube channel, click subscribe and then click the bell button and you'll get notified of any new um, material that I put up there. Um, I've been quiet on there a little bit because obviously I was away for three weeks in Spain and only back a couple of weeks. Um, and I've had a few good few busy weeks the last couple of weeks with different bits and pieces. I am working on some workshops with the wonderful Tony Doyle, of course, um, who's still in the house, I think. Throw me up some heart there, Tony Doyle, if you're still here. You might have nipped off. Yeah, he might have nipped off. But Tony Doyle, um, I'm working on some new workshops with him. So um, I've got all that going on at the moment as well.
Thank you. Namaste to you, Jodie Lee. Thank you so much. So I hope you're all looking forward to Monday. It's a new day. It's a new week. Time to set new goals, new intentions, and have a fabulous week, everyone. Um, for now, I'm going to love you and leave you. So namaste to each and every single one of you. And from Paul over there on the couch, he says, good evening. I am sending love from my heart to yours. I have been Ali O'Shea. Namaste and good evening from Ireland. Thank you for joining me.